In the last video, you learned about three metal-centered reactions of transition metals, oxidative addition, reductive elimination, and transmetallation. Two other reactions, called ligand-centered reactions, are also important to transition metal catalysis. They're called migratory insertion and beta elimination, and they involve changes to the structure of ligands bonded to a metal. Migratory insertion can occur when one X-type ligand and one L-type ligand are adjacent to each other on a metal. Usually the L-type ligand needs at least one pi bond near the metal and is most commonly either an alkene, an alkyne, or carbon monoxide. The X-type ligand is typically either hydrogen or an alkyl group, but other X-type ligands can sometimes participate in this reaction as well. The process involves the L-type ligand inserting into the MX bond, losing one of its pi bonds in the process. Overall, migratory insertion doesn't change the oxidation state of the metal ion, but it does reduce the total electron count by two and the coordination number by one. Because this reaction involves lowering the total electron count, it's often driven or assisted or accompanied by ligand association, bringing that electron count back up. When the L-type ligand that's inserting is carbon monoxide, the process is called carbonylation and with alkenes or alkynes, it's called carbometallation or hydrometallation, depending on whether the X-type ligand is an alkyl group or a hydrogen. In principle, all these migratory insertion reactions are reversible, but carbonylation and carbometallation rarely actually reverse. However, the reverse of hydrometallation is quite common, and it's called beta elimination. It involves the removal of a hydrogen, beta, to the metal, and the formation of a new carbon-carbon pi bond, which generally stays bonded to the metal as a new L-type ligand. The hydrogen becomes an X-type ligand, a hydride. Because this process involves a single X-type ligand becoming a new X-type ligand and an L-type ligand, it causes the total electron count of the metal to go up by two and the coordination number to increase by one. The reactions of transition metal complexes that you've learned, ligand association, dissociation and exchange, oxidative addition, reductive elimination, and transmetallation, and migratory insertion and beta elimination can be stitched together in various sequences that allow a host of otherwise impossible reactions to occur, especially carbon-carbon bond formations. We'll explore one of these reactions, called the Heck reaction, in the next class.